Hello, now we're at lab number nine. So uh, there's quite a bit of overlap here with the lecture, so I'm not going to go through and redo the lecture. So this is a change of lithium. Uh, so if, you, um, if you're colorblind, you know, try and find someone to help you out that can see the colors. If not, you know, make it up as much as you can, or you can let me know and I'll tell you what the answers are. But uh, you can do the electronic configurations from these anyways. But um, So I, am, I apologize if you are colorblind, but uh, you do need to see the colors for this one. And, uh, well, basically, as you know from the lecture, that the different colors in fireworks come from the different salts that are in there that are basically atomic spectroscopy of the excitation and then the energy falling down emitting the photons. So uh, we're going to do that, and we're going to use lithium chloride, sodium chloride, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, uh, charcoal, and paper clips. And your charcoal is kind of the, um, it's the control, so the charcoal should look just like uh, the, the flame. Uh, the thing with charcoal, so it's uh, the colors when you burn candle flames and charcoal and whatnot, it, the, the, um, the particulates so it forms little solids, and those are going to heat up. And the hotter those heat up, the different colors they release. So, like, you can get anything from red to blue. Well, it would glow in the ultraviolet. I'm sorry, if it gets hot enough, it'll grow in the ultraviolet. But it's not going to be that hot here that it'll grow in the ultraviolet, glow in the ultraviolet. It'll glow in the infrared, but not the ultraviolet. But uh, you should be able to see lithium. Lithium's really easy to see. Sodium's really easy to see. Uh, potassium's a little harder to see, as is calcium. Potassium, I find it to be harder to see than calcium, uh, but uh, it just depends on how hot and you get the, the, the thing. I, I usually use a Bunsen burner for this. So if you tea light, I would be really surprised if you can see calcium or, or potassium. So, but uh, you should be able to see lithium or sodium. Uh, sodium's kind of boring. Lithium is luck. interesting. But take the paper clips and then you... Uh, then you put the piece of clay, so you can hold the piece of clay and you don't have to touch the paper clip. And then put them in there, you, you stick the, the solutions, dip them in there, and then uh, light the candle, and then stick the, the stuff in the, uh, in, the, in the flame. And then you can see the, uh, the various uh, um, the colors from, from putting the loop in there. So to just give me the observations, and again, please be honest when you do this. Uh, I want you to take a picture. Take a picture of your loops. So this is what you want to take a picture of. Take a picture of those loops there and that. And uh, then go through right there, the electronic configuration. You should know how to do this from your book. Right? Potassium, lithium, sodium, these are going to be alkalis. This is an alkaline earth. So and then carbon's going to be in the in the, you know, it's a non-metal family. You should be able to look this up in your textbook how to do this. If you're having a lot of trouble with me, you can always hit me up and ask your questions. And then when you get the color, the wavelength, there's a chart up here. You know, and, and that's okay if you, you know, just, just do what you see and then make a guesstimate about that, you know, from this. So that's, that's, that's how you do uh, the color and the wavelength. So... These, so just go through, ask, answer the questions. This should be a pretty quick and easy lab. Just be careful with flame, uh, you know, and be careful around flammable materials. Safety is very important, as always. So let me know. Hopefully this goes, goes well. Send me in the lab. Send me in the lab report and the picture. Do loops when you're done. And let me know if you have any questions.